Hey, uh, I, I'm not sure what to say. Am I truly the person you want by your side? I must admit, I feel the same way. I hope you'll let me convey these feelings to you more openly. Hello. I'll tell you a secret. The reason my cooking tastes great is because I can get so many different types of fresh fish from around here. It is, but I'm facing it as a knot, so it is nothing. Ha <laughs> ha! And I strive to never let them down. True, true. But even if there is no competition, the round table would strive to serve the best. My code of honor demands it. Sisei's got lots of nice stuff. Jade, silk, hot pot, things of that nature. I was there some 10 or 15 years ago visiting a friend. The hot springs there are terrific. A lot of things people don't know about me. You know that I used to be a knight? Unexpected, right? <laughs> Not hood and all that entails are my first passion. Cooking is my other. Serving people and making them happy is the meaning of my life. Darling, I've just read a book. There's a line that really speaks to me. A noble knight's burden is a curse of loneliness. To silently give while expecting nothing in return. Those who see the lone knot see man surrounded by a hard shell of cold armor, and yet they are unable to imagine the tenderness that lies beneath. Isn't that beautiful? You have good taste, darling. What you just heard was an excerpt from The Last Dawn, a true classic. It details the inner philosophy of how a knot should be, and how to deal with the average citizen being unable to comprehend our struggle. Now that I've broken the ice with a poem, let's get down to business. Have you noticed that Sophie's scarecrows in her farm were blown down by the wind? As a knot, it is my duty, nay, my destiny to protect the fallen. But actually, I don't really know how to repair a scarecrow, so will you help me? Excellent! Behind a lone knot, there is always a wily and steadfast squire. In this case, you! I think we just need some hardwood planks, cotton, and worn furs. Come back to me when you've got everything. Well done, darling. I think we can do it tomorrow. Our quest begins 9 p.m. at the gate tomorrow night. See you then. Okay, I'll be on time.
You take point. You finished? So soon? Let me have a look. Well, it looks nice, but I think we can decorate it to make it look better. What do you think fits it best, darling? <laughs> I suppose our straw friend here could stand to be a bit more lifelike. That looks perfect. So glad to have you here, darling. The only thing left to do now is to gaze longingly at the stars above. What's in her mind, darling? Do I have a place in your future? I'm so happy to hear that, darling. I must admit, every time I look at you, I think about our future and what it could be. What about you? What's on your mind when you look at the stars? As I look up at the stars, I feel a sense of calm, but also a sense of duty. They stare back at me, countless like the faces of the people I'm sworn to protect. Seeing them reminds me that I must be better, always better. And that's how I feel when I look at you too. Words cannot express how thankful I am to have met you. A lone notch is a lone no more. <laughs>